I'm Andrew Wilco, Solutions Architect at RC. Today, I'm excited to introduce you to RC Orchestra. The current landscape for building AI agents is quite complex. There's many decisions to be made, such as what model or models to use, what framework to use to orchestrate these together, what tools to integrate into your agents, how to implement observability and monitoring tools, what hardware to run this on, and so much more. This can easily become very complex from a development standpoint, become costly, and be difficult to scale. This is why we built RC Orchestra. Orchestra is an end-to-end -end platform for building agents, agentic networks, and AI workflows. Let's jump in to see how it looks. There are four primary components to Orchestra. These include workflows, integrations, the chat UI, and our model router. When you first log in to Orchestra, you're presented with the chat UI. This is where you're able to chat back and forth with your model, as well as be able to invoke workflows that you've built. When interacting with the chat UI, there are multiple models that you can use. Out of the box, this comes with RC small language models. These include general purpose models, coding models, reasoning models, and vision models and you also have the ability to bring in your own. You're able to define the system prompt and edit parameters such as max tokens, temperature, top P, and more. You can also select the tools or workflows that you'd like to be able to invoke. How this works is when you send a request through the chat UI, it is sent to our model router. This is a very small and efficient model that is able to route your request to the appropriate location. If it is a general request to the model, it's able to be sent directly to the model that you've selected. However, if the router picks up that it is a request to one of the workflows that you've built, it is able to derive the parameters for that workflow from your request and then go and invoke that workflow. So let's take a look at what a workflow looks like. Workflows are where you're able to build your automations, your agents, your AI workflows within Orchestra. As you can see from the examples here, there are many different use cases which can be accomplished with workflows. These can range from generating sales talk tracks where you're doing customer research and generating a talk track for a sales call. This can be market research, which looks up real-time information about certain topics in order to provide summaries to your team. You can execute intelligent document processing, plan trips with a travel planner, execute enterprise search, even do legal review. There are countless other use cases which have also been solved with Orchestra. So let's take a look at what one of these workflows looks like. As you can see, you build workflows with a very easy to use drag and drop UI. The workflow is made up of components. These components can be model nodes, integration nodes, knowledge retrieval nodes, and many more. In future videos, we'll go through each of the nodes in detail. In the example you see here, the workflow is looking for a prompt. In this specific example, it's defined to be a company. That company is then formatted into a query for it to be able to be searched for real-time information about that company. That information is then sent to a section of models. As you can see here, there is a senior analyst model node and a talk track writer node. One of the great things you can do in Orchestra is choose the right model for the right task. So in this example, we have a larger model that is used for the senior analyst in order to do the analysis on the news and a smaller model to generate the talk track. This allows us to use larger, more complex models for tasks that require that more complex analytical capability, as well as use smaller models for more simple tasks, which makes your workflow more efficient. Next, we pull information from HubSpot about this company, format an email, 
and then send an email that includes the research, the talk track that was created, and any information in HubSpot about this customer. This is all done in a matter of seconds. Workflows can be invoked in the chat UI like we mentioned, or they can be invoked via API. This means you can directly call workflows from your own tools to be able to have back and forth communication. In this example, we see three built-in integrations. That includes the search, looking through a CRM, as well as an email integration. Let's take a look at the other integrations that are available. On the integrations page, you're able to see the integrations that you've already set up. For example, I have connections to GitHub, Outlook, Google Drive, and many others already set up. There's currently over 200 integrations that you can choose from in Orchestra, and this number is growing rapidly. These tools range from search tools, ERPs and CRM integrations, such as Salesforce and HubSpot, as well as document stores, such as Dropbox and Google Drive, and many, many, many more. This was a brief look into RC Orchestra. In our next video, we'll show you how to create a simple workflow. And in future videos, we'll do deep dives on each node within Orchestra workflows, as well as detailed videos on the model router and much, much more. We can't wait to see what you build with Orchestra.